Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Angie Jean Cheek, and this is my August favorites. This is my miscellaneous stuff that does not fit in the beauty realm. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys, I, I normally break my videos up, like I've said, into four videos because I have a lot of favorites every month and I want to make sure you guys know what they are but I also don't want you to sit through a 25 minute long video so that's why I break these up because I don't know about you but I like shorter videos so With that being said I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that doesn't really fit into the beauty realm but I'm still loving this month the first thing I bought is actually something that my husband bought me and it is this cell phone case how cute is this? He said that it reminded him of me with, you know, brunette with shopping bags. <laughs> but he got this at Kohl's, I believe, and I have the iPhone 4S, but uh, I have no interest in getting the iPhone 5 right now. I love my 4S, so maybe if, when this one dies, I'll look at the 5, but I'm just... This one fits my hand. It, it works. My favorite app right now that I am like loving is this rap called Rona and it is it's an app that you can use to edit pictures so if you have the iPhone I don't know if it's Android um, I don't live in Android land but you can edit your pictures and do some really cool things with them let me let me find one of the pictures that I've actually edited with. here's a picture that I've edited with it with me and my husband and just says my heart and soul. This was from uh, 4th of July. That's Brett, by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Brett. And yes, he's super tall. He's six foot six, and I'm five foot two. So it's the way it is. <laughs> but yeah, I love my cell phone case, and I love the Rona design app for your pictures. I think it was like 99 cents. I, I don't remember. Maybe $1.99. Totally worth it. Um, something else that I got that I've been meaning to show you guys since June, and I keep forgetting, is back in June I did a market booth over at the Daily Marketplace, and Dandy Designs was there, and she hand paints dog pieces, and this is a business card holder that she custom painted of my bloodhound Hank. For those of you who saw pictures of Hank, which I'll include a picture of Hank right here. He's my baby. I love my I love my bloodhound. My bloodhound is my child. I'm going to do the uh, my dog tag. I just need to I need to actually just do it. <laughs> I have no really reason why, but but this looks just like Hank. Even the white on the nose. So and even the little fat rolls here too because he's a little porker. But um, I love this. It actually broke, so I gotta hot glue it. But I I she she made this for me and I just. I knew I had to have it, so she did one of that. She also did one that I still need to send to my friend Emily because I keep forgetting about it, and it's like sitting in my desk drawer. But I had her do two memorial um, ornaments for our bloodhounds that have passed away, and my friend Emily lost her bloodhound Molly here a few months back, and it's so hard when you lose a dog, especially when your dogs are your kids, that it's... It, <sighs> It makes you like not want to get dogs anymore because like the pain but then you know you're, my dogs are my life so I, I couldn't imagine my dogs not having my dogs in my life but you know most of you guys know I lost my 14 year old husky fire in July and that was just I've had that dog forever she won many best in shows with me she said I've been through everything with that dog and I came home one day in June and she was basically paralyzed so we had to take her to the vet and Saying goodbye to that dog was just, oh god, I I can't even. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm done crying over it. But it was it was very hard. But back in March, I also had to say goodbye to my. I don't even know how old she was because we rescued her. I want to say like 12 or 13 year old bloodhound named Ladybird, and I had her make this memorial ornament for Ladybird, gray hair and all. And she did such a beautiful job, and it looks just like Lady. And um, getting all emotional here talking about my dogs that have passed away. So we'll we'll have this one up around Christmas time. But she also did one that looks like my friend Emily's dog Molly. That Emily, if you're watching this, I will get it out to you this week. I promise. Um, and she she does she does such a beautiful job. So I'll include the link to her website below. 
Uh, she's actually a fellow artist from New Mexico, and she's done all the paintings for the president's dogs, believe it or not. So I hung out with her on Saturday, and she did all this stuff for me. But um, again, it's called Dandy Designs, and if you want to go to her website, it's dandies, dandydesigns.com. I'll include a link below so you can check her out. My favorite craft purchase this month, I haven't done too much crafting this month because we've been so busy with trips and house stuff, but I did buy this box at Hobby Lobby, and right now it's holding some of my trim, and what I'm loving about this is you can pull your trim, cut it, and then it keeps it stored nicely, uh, and it's zebra, <laughs> which if you guys have noticed, I have like kind of a theme in here black and white and then my pink so I saw this and had to have it originally these were $7.99 at Hobby Lobby but I used my 40% off coupon so it was like four bucks uh, totally recommend this if you're a crafter you can use this for ribbon I mean basically anything that you need access to this is that's a spool I mean it's for even if you pay full price of eight bucks it's still worth it the reason why I'm saying this magazine is my favorite is because the Vogue September issue is basically a book. I mean, it is huge. It is like a thousand pages. It's 900 and, oops, does anyone else hate these things? It is 903 pages of fashion, which if you notice my marks in here, this is my fall fashion inspiration. What I normally do is once I read the magazines, I put my little stickies in here of things I want to remember. And I normally will tear the pages out and then I recycle the magazine. But I think because this one is so big, I might hang on to it for a couple months in case I want to flip through it again or whatever. Um, I'm notorious for reading magazines over and over again. So, um, but this one had actually a really cool interview with Jennifer Lawrence. And I really like Jennifer Lawrence. I love her makeup on the cover. So if you still can find the September issue of Vogue, I recommend picking it up because it was... $5.99, but it was 900 pages, and it just the fall fashion in here was beautiful. I'm like I've said in every video, I'm so ready for fall. So pick up the oh, pick up the September issue of Vogue if you can. Really cool. The last thing I'm like obsessed with this month that does not have to do with beauty is I picked up a planner here in July, and I have been using it. My planner is from Target because you know all good things come from Target. I have been using this to help me schedule my videos and for my filming. So this is month of September. I still need to fill everything out. But this little bad boy has helped me tremendously. So if you do not have a planner or you feel you do not need a planner, I challenge you on that because I think everyone could use a planner, honestly. So, But if you enjoy my monthly favorites, please give this video a like. I would love to see what you guys are loving this month. So leave me some comments, video responses. I'd love to check them out. But if you enjoy my favorites video, please give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!